You talked to us a lot last year at this time about the omniverse. So I have two questions for you. First of all, to sort of make it concrete for those of us who are not steeped in this stuff all the time, what are some examples of this being put into practice? And how is your omniverse different now than it was last year? Is it that being put into the cloud aspect? Well, uh, so far, Omniverse has only been a on-prem uh, enterprise solution. And the fact of the matter is this stack, this supercomputing stack, artificial, artificial intelligence stack is really complicated. And the answer is to put that up in the cloud for us to fully manage it, host it, manage it. We host it from, from uh, uh, Azure and uh, benefit from all of the security and all the in industrial certification, all the storage capability and all of their enterprise APIs um, and all of their productivity APIs. And, and they've also done a lot of work with uh, with industrial metaverse. And so all of that work is now gonna be tied into Omniverse and we can take this to the world. What Omniverse is, is to help companies that build physical things to do everything digitally first. And so whether whether you're building cars or making, you know, devices or phones or uh, you know building uh, building plants or uh, factories, logistics warehouse or uh, designing large buildings or even even designing cities. Uh, today, you have to do things kind of on paper and then you try it uh, in the physical world and as you're building it and you make mistakes, you do change orders. Um, all of that doesn't have to happen. You should be able to do that completely in digital. And when you do it in digital, uh, all of the organizations around your company and these, you know, the car com the car industry has 14 million employees and it takes all of those employees working together to build a car and manufacture it around the world. And so now these 14 million employees could have a digital platform that connects digital and physical and for them to be able to design the cars, design the factories, all in Omniverse, use generative AI to test it to help populate it, to optimize it. And then before they do that, they virtually, as, virtu virtually assemble it before they break ground and build a factory in reality. In doing so, the number of change orders will reduce, the time to market will reduce, um, any plant opening delays would reduce. For an industry as large as the auto industry, which is $3 trillion large, all of this is going to translate to, translate to hundreds of billions of dollars of savings. So this is a very, very big deal that we can help the physical industry of the world become digital for the very first time.